This is fascinating. They were both here, Athena and Cornelius. They had a plan. I found a file that... Oh, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't... I, 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 uh... Byron's trapped in the overload. He's failing to disconnect. The whole system's going haywire. 1K, get out of there! Everyone back to the VTOL! We have to go. Now, 1K, get moving! We can't just leave Byron behind. Yeah, Coot, we have no idea where he is or what's happening to him. But right now, if we stay here, we could all die. The system's going completely bananas. Energy spikes everywhere. We'll come back for Byron, I promise. are not meant to tread these halls. Why will you not heed my warnings? I am not trying to harm you, creatures of clay. All I wish is to protect you and the rest of your kind. What more must I do to make you understand? If you cannot be reasoned with, I must bar your path. energy emissions are messing with the VTOL systems. Okay, I think I've got it working. Get here quickly, 1K. Get us out of here, Yakut. Now what? Looks like the southern sites are active. The readings are strangely jumbled, though. Should I set us down? Yes, but just to drop off Melville. What? We're going back to New Jerusalem. This situation has gotten out of control. We need to regroup. Rushing in blindly isn't going to save Byron. But we also need someone to stay here and keep an eye on things. Melville, that's you. All right. I'll see if I can make any sense of these systems while you're gone. Just keep a safe distance, okay? Will do. Good. Well, 1K, I guess it's time for you and me to take a nap.
Do not lose hope, my child. In these difficult moments, find solace in your friends and in the home that you share. Here we are. Got an update from Melville. The power spikes are continuing, but no news from Byron. All right. Thank you, Yakut. You get the VTOL ready for the next trip. I'll talk to the mayor. 1K, please head over to the Museum of the Simulation and talk to Cornelius. Let's see what he has to say for himself. <laughs> 